Randy's three furrows deep in his harvest. He's got so much work to do. This combine, she's great, but she's not the fastest beast in the world. At least we're getting her all done. This is episode 37 of Survival South America. On everyone, Dirty Randy here. How you doing? It's another day, another harvest on our hands. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we got a new combine. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it gets the job done. And we have a lot more oat here to harvest. Keep going with it. We kind of messed up with our planting and just... We ended up with so much oat. Um, way she goes, I guess. Not a bad thing. Just not what I was exactly planning. You can hear those bees buzzing over there. How are we doing on honey? It's starting to fill up. We got four crates. Four crates. Slowly but surely, it's getting there. Leave our way out of here with the truck. Looking good. Probably just pull it up somewhere on the back side. I don't know, maybe just along the side of this road. I don't want to be on the hill too, too much, just because uh, that's kind of a pain in the butt. The way she goes, though. We already got maybe half a trailer full, so I don't imagine we're going to get too far with it. We might try and just cut a little bit of headland first, give ourselves some turnaround, because this thing is an absolute boat when it comes to the corners. It look awesome in it, so... No complaints there. Got it out. We're trying to turn around on the edge here and get lined up. See how it goes. Turn her on. There we go. Over this big boy down. Awesome. Awesome. We're dropping straw. Does this have an option to blow it? I don't think it does. That's just the way she goes. I didn't see any options. So I guess we're dropping more swath. I was thinking about perhaps spreading it today onto the field um, instead. Just save us a little bit of work on the back end when we're done here. Um, but way she goes, that's all right. It, more work for us, but ultimately a little bit more income as well. We'll have to keep an eye on our diesel levels as well. We went through easily a quarter of our tank yesterday with our smaller fields. We have a big field here. And our first field over there with the canola, when we can get to it as well. Uh, that's It's going to be another long day up in here. Another dusty day. The way she goes, we're going to get her done, though. And uh, I know I'm looking forward to it. We'll see what fields we can kind of get worked on over the winter uh, for springtime as well. It should be fairly interesting with all this straw work we got to deal with now. Our baler is going to be going through the absolute ringer getting everything done but that is all good hopefully we can get a fair bit of money back you know at least enough to cover hopefully diesel costs for the combine for the year that would be nice uh to use our straw towards that uh i'm sure we'll get a little bit more than that you know but i'm not expecting a whole lot honestly we're gonna make one more pass back and hopefully that'll be enough for us to kind of turn this guy around without bumping into the shed too much. There we go. All lined up. Pretty good. I mean, it's a big field. It's going to be a good day, though. time kind of pulling off the end of that road there I don't know where to go turning back over to it here and we got a full trailer full 6200 liters I believe pretty good 
and we got another full hopper in the combine. We've made a good start on that. Headlands finished, as well as, you know, maybe a quarter of the field. A third might be a little bit generous. But, I mean, I guess if you include the headland, probably about a third of the field completely done. So that's pretty good. We're getting good yield out of here. Of course, there was still some grain in the trailer from yesterday's harvest, so it's not like that's all from today so far. It would be nice. We're just pinning it as fast as we can over to the market, get this stuff sold. I'm estimating maybe another 2500 bucks or so. That's pretty much what we got for a full trailer load uh, the other day. I don't know if price has gone up, gone down. I haven't had a peak. We're going to get what we get. doesn't matter. All right, pulling in here. Have another peek also at the uh, farm store. Just see what's on sale today, if anything. Never hurts to look, you know, slim chance there's anything we can actually afford or need, but you never know. Shy of $2,800. That's actually fantastic, so the price has gone up a little bit since yesterday. We're just gonna pull up here real quick, and um, just a liquid tank, not even for water. Um, so yeah, we don't have any animals. That would necessitate a liquid tank of that capacity. Of just sending it off the bridge there, hey? It's no fun sending it onto the bridge because then you crash and fall into the water and lose everything and maybe your life. But sending it off the bridge is a good time. Oh, we didn't turn down the path. Don't want to cut through that field. We've got so much to do because this is a canola harvest as well. Oh my god. Big day, busy day. No time to waste. We're going to pull right up underneath this pipe here. Offload and keep going. There we go. Looking good. Okay, a little further, a little further. There we go. Getting places. It's it's a long day, uh, and it's not over yet. We still have a whole field to do, which is uh, kind of wild. We don't have a lot of uh, well room left in this trailer. We got like seven percent. We're gonna make sure it's topped up, though. It's only gonna take a second. There we go. Hop back in the truck here, and uh, we gotta go. Unfortunately, make two trips to the store here because one for this trailer full and then if we want to actually offload that canola as well it's not all going to fit in the combine we're going to need a trailer to do that which it fits full of uh oats still we that's not good you know uh so we're gonna have to make two more trips at minimum over there uh i'm not sure how it's gonna go if we're gonna be able to fit all that canola in here or not 
you know, uh, it's not like the greatest yield. We didn't get a chance to put more fertilizer on it. We just didn't have the money and, you know, the weeds and stuff as well. That's going to eat into our yield. So hopefully we can get it all in one trailer. Otherwise, we're going to have to make a third trip uh, from now still to the store. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it gets done. You know, uh, the sun's already starting to creep down. You can see all these shadows and stuff in the trees. And, uh, well, it's, yeah, a long shadow day. What can you do, I suppose? But, uh, you know, we're going to try our best to get her done here. Back. Finally, we're ripping around. It's a little after 4 o'clock already, and we haven't even gotten out on that other field yet. So, we need to get to it. Offload the rest of this. We need to finish our last couple passes. And uh, we need to get going. You know, uh, gosh, it would be nice to just hire somebody to even just bring the grain to market while we keep harvesting. But I don't know how they're even going to get out here. Maybe they could, if they had a vehicle or something, or somebody dropped them off, I suppose. But no farm hands, nothing we can afford like that just yet. And uh, well, we are trying to get pretty much everything done ourselves you know um that's that's one of the goals you know there's nothing saying we can't get some help if we need it but uh i mean we could not afford it for the longest time and even now it would probably not be the smartest use of our funds i suppose on a day like today you know you maybe have to bite the bullet and get some help otherwise you might not be able to get all of our harvesting done you know uh but in places you know we got i'd say three more passes left on this field and this is our bigger field so you know uh, we're used to this size now that we've been on here so moving down to that canola one hopefully we'll feel a little bit uh, a little bit better a little bit smoother perhaps uh, it is kind of a nice round field uh, i'm not sure how we're gonna approach it if we want to just do laps around the outside kind of like just lots of headland or uh just do what we've been doing on this one and turning around. I think the turning around, especially in this guy, definitely takes up a fair bit of time. So it might be nice to kind of just do a bunch of headland until uh, we're pretty much out of it, you know, uh, until like it's just getting those awkward angles and then we can start going those straight lines. So, all right, we're getting places. We got one more little pass down here. And enough grain to sell and then uh, one more trip to market maybe two with how much canola we have but uh, at least this field is done all of our oats are done and you know this is where planting out in this field when we didn't mean to you know I, I wanted to put soybeans in here but we accidentally put more oat and uh, that just kind of not ruined our plans but it just made things difficult with all these crossing over of uh, our harvesting times so you know not a whole lot we can do about that now obviously we've gotten this tart i said tart tough part done and we can move on to the canola so we'll see how it goes uh gosh you know another long day out here but hey that's harvesting season we've made already you know another 2800 dollars from our last trailer there so we're over five thousand dollars we've made today we've definitely burned through a lot of diesel not near five thousand dollars worth of diesel but this combine is gonna be pretty low i imagine after we're done our canola harvest here so i am tempted to just keep rolling with this for now the hopper's empty we have to unload the trailer of course but if we're at least rolling on this field as much as we can with our daylight you know We'll have a full hopper on here, ready to unload into the trailer. And then if it does get a little bit darker, at least we've started this field and got the process rolling. No straw dropping because there's none to be had on this field. So that's good. Uh, we're just spraying a little bit, which is nice. Uh, just saves us some work, some time dealing with this kind of field turnover as well. You know, that almost makes me think this will be one of, this field and the soybeans will probably be perhaps some of the first to get dealt with just because of the straw depending on how things go 
uh, we are headed into fall winter coming up here so it's not like we're gonna have too big of a window on things that we can actually put in the ground so we'll see how it goes you know um, even if the fields need plowing and stuff rough but thankfully we have a fair bit of fields now that we can just bite the bullet get that done if it doesn't need if we can't get stuff in the ground because of plowing we have other fields and that's all right if they all need plowing kind of in around the same time we're absolutely screwed but we're not going to think about that we're going to think about this canola harvest On this side of the yard, let's just rip over to the other grain place here. We're not going to get a whole lot for this, but we just need to empty it because the hopper on the combine is full. We can't offload any canola until we get rid of this stuff. I suppose we could just dump this on the ground, but I'd rather, rather not. Uh, then we'd have to pick it up with the shovel or the bucket, and I, mean, I guess that's not the end of the world but it'll get all dirty and gross, we'll lose grain. It's just, it's not worth it. Let's go get her sold. We got pretty much two laps of headland done before we needed to, well, before the hopper filled up, I suppose, and we needed to unload. But I was kind of hoping we would get a little bit further than that. So maybe we're getting a better yield than I kind of anticipated out of that canola field. You know, um, if it's filling up that fast, we're probably gonna have a fair bit of offloading to do. Hopefully, you know, I mean, it's not the end of the world if we have a full trailer and then some, but I mean, I don't know if we have time for that today, but well, we're going to try. We're going to try our best to get it done, you know, powering through. Let's scoot up here into the big boy silo. There you go. Probably 800 bucks, maybe. Wrong. It was $830. How dare you estimate? Estimate so far off I mean, honestly 30 dollars that's pretty good i would say i was pretty close 800 bucks i got 830 so yeah that's pretty good i didn't even do mental math on that one that was just a straight shot in the dark pulling back in and uh, we need to unload thankfully we went the right direction for our pipe we can park up right there and uh, hop into the combine turn that on unload and then we got a rock and roll people we got a rock and we got a roll there you go all right well so she begins the black grain harvest Finally, we're actually all done. I honestly didn't know if we would make it. That was a big, long day. The moon is, well, it's almost all the way up already, so it's got to be getting up there. 
time-wise. I have no idea what time it is. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit all of this grain in the trailer either. But that's all right. Because whatever doesn't fit in the trailer still is in the hopper. We can just unload it. Another day, but so far so good. And oh, gosh, we might have a month until our soybean harvest. It could also be next month. I'm not sure. One or the other. But... It's going to be coming up soon as well, so we will have to completely empty this hopper at some point. Literally 70 liters left of canola in the hopper here that didn't fit in the trailer. Pretty darn close though. And uh, we also only have, we have less than a quarter tank of fuel left. So we definitely burned through it. That canola, or the uh, soybean harvest coming up definitely is going to take the last bit of fuel we have. Um, and then we will have to, well, we'll have to find a way to refuel this guy, whether we just use our jerry cans or, uh, I don't know. We'll have to see, because it's going to go through all of our jerry cans. Maybe the shop has a tanker truck or something that they can come bring out. Who knows? But, uh, you know, hey, looking good. We're going to shut off the lights on the truck. Uh, we'll maybe just... Yeah, we, we, got, a, we got grain in here, so we're going to start it up. We're just going to go pull her into the shed for the evening in case it starts pouring monsoon again and our grain should be just fine we got a couple more pallets it looks like of canola or uh, soybeans so that's awesome exciting um try and weave through here you know i think we'll be all right awesome we can just leave that there and we're looking good that's gonna have to be it such a long day lots of time lapses way she goes but uh, that's gonna have to be all so thank you so much for joining me lots to come it's uh you know it's busy season right now on the farm so that is awesome we've come so far and we'll see you in the next one all right bye bye